Hi there, in this uh, video, I'm just gonna make like a quick introduction to the court uh, premium feature of Matomo Analytics. So premium feature means that you need to acquire it through the marketplace. Uh, so it's a paid plugin. Uh, so I think it's still interesting to introduce the concept of, uh, of court. So once installed, you will find it within visitors and then uh, at the bottom of the colon, you will find the court feature. Just to let you know that the court premium feature as many other premium features does not require any change to the Matomo tracking code. And um, so it's close to the feature which is called behavior engagement in terms of uh, what it's uh, measuring. It's in fact measuring if a given population is coming back and converting uh, on your website uh, over time. And when we mean converting, it means uh, any metrics that you are selecting in order to know if these specific actions or this specific behavior is happening back uh, over time. So course is not like a rocket science. It's not that difficult to understand. It's just about uh, a data visualization, which consists in uh, telling you in, in day zero, um, if over time, this given population has converted over the next, uh, so here it's over the next 30 days. So here, for example, it means that on day uh, zero, which represents uh, March the 15th, I got in fact 18 unique visitors. And during the next um, 30 days, in fact, uh, no one came back on my website out of those unique visitors. So that's not the case uh, for uh, March the 16th on Monday. So I got 32 visitors and out of those uh, visitors, I got one, which came back uh, 21 day after. So here, based on unique visitor, uh, may not like uh, be wonderful for you uh, because that's typically not the kind of thing that you would like to, to measure. But uh, let's imagine that you are launching a, spe a special offer and this uh, given special offer, I'm not gonna use this one, but uh, we could go interest in SSL conversions, okay. Is it with conversion? Okay, I'm gonna take this one. Um, so let's imagine that you are launching a special offer on your website and you define this special offer as a goal. Uh, so you may be interested in, in measuring, in fact, how many people converted for this given uh, offer and then see if this offer make people coming back on your website uh, over time. And that could be um, of interest. So here, as you can see, it's not very significant. I'm not getting uh, that much uh, visits coming back and converting this special uh, offer. But let's imagine that a perfect, um, let's say, um, offer which will stick uh, to the user will be like, okay, got like 15 people who converted and then I get like uh, 10 people converting it back. 10 people converting it back and so on and so forth. So the typical use case would be, for example, for a new site, I mean, people uh, for the metrics, which is about uh, people who read my content. Maybe I have something which is similar to that. Uh, oh, I think I, I deleted the, the event concern, but um, yeah, it could be like, time spent on a website or the fact that people read the content and that you can clearly see that those given people who already came on your website are still uh, converting over time here. I don't have any any good example. Uh, probably if I take actions, for example, it will probably make a bit more sense. Yeah, not that much. Little bit, right? So here you have you have some people which are in fact coming back on my website and, and doing uh, actions. And um, if I would have set a bit more uh, properly my, um, my actions here, if I had, for example, an event which was more linked with, um, yeah, the fact that uh, people read given blog posts and that this given blog post is in fact review uh, day after days by my, by my visitor, probably because it's a long, uh, tutorial and this long tutorial require actually many days in order to be able to be applied for this given website or app. If we'll have, uh, probably we will get uh, one full line with, with many uh, visitors uh, coming back over time 
and that would be considered as kind of a sticky content which will be great uh, for having people staying on my website and then being able to show advertisement or any, any things like that. So that's what cohort is about. It's about giving you one data visualization, telling you if people for this given metric that you're selling thing are in fact coming back on your website and at which uh, timelines uh, they are uh, decreasing. And that's everything that I wanted to show you for cohort today. Thanks for watching.